Hello, welcome back. This is Kenton 1913 and we are Let's Playing Legacy of Cain Defiance. In the last episode, Raziel saw pictures underneath Avernus Cathedral that show that he might be the Hilden Champion. Now let us lurk further in. And yeah, there's going to be a bunch of scenes coming up. Great Hashagik, we hear you. We tremble and we obey. We offer this sacrifice upon the altar of the world. The blood of our firstborn to be sacrificed to you. In the depths of Avernus Cathedral, I stumbled upon a bloody ritual. Was this the source of the corruption that had overtaken the city? May this blood nourish you for all eternity. Purge your wrath from us, great God. The wrath of Hashagik has once more been averted. Depart now, as ever, in his service. We tremble and we obey. Praise to Hashagik and ever praise. What was it that these deluded humans worshipped with such fervor? Was this the dreaded unspoken that Vorador had warned me about? Whatever so-called god inhabited this hideous pit, I was about to meet it. Throat cut first, blood gouging, then it falls into the pit. The sacrifice is rejected. You will know my wrath. Not possible. No, it could not be. Stand away, monster. No, that voice, not possible. I know that voice, but he fell. The abyss, he ended there. I did not fall into the abyss. Oh, it remembers that, does it? I was thrown in by my own brethren. I heard what you did to them. And now, you have found me at last. Terrell. <laughs> Terrell. Yes, that was my name then. The others were grotesque, but... Yes, I am changed. I have become a god. Greater than you ever were, Raziel. You were never a god. Greater even than Cain! It is to you that these humans offer their blood sacrifices? Hush, ah, geek. Hush, ah, geek. Yes. But how did this happen? I was summoned. There was darkness and great hunger. And then I was found. Why do you stay in this terrible place? Why stay? Would I remain if I could get out? While they hound me, and tear at me, and... <laughs> the hour is at hand, as it was foretold. Terrell? We use his voice to command the disciples above. We demand offerings to keep the host alive. He has been a durable vessel, but he can take us no further. 
champion of our enemy draws near. No! I must have blood! Bring me blood! Or feel the wrath of your god. You! Yours! Yes, it will strengthen me against them. What are you doing? No. No more questions. No more worship. Time to run. Time to scream. Time to die. All right, so look who it is, it's Terrell. We're finally gonna wrap this up here. And Terrell, basically, he, if you remember correctly, he's one of the vampire guys Cain brought to life. We threw him, we threw Raziel into the abyss. And he basically, Terrell basically has a few moves. Um, one of them is this, like, uh, these balls that, that, that are kind of like homing balls that can come and hit you. He can charge at you. He can do like this sound ability, which uh, when you see that, you have to hit the, the glowing uh, ring over here, or one of the glowing things. And uh, yeah. So Terrell is Hasha Geek. He's actually the thing that the people of Avenus Cathedral have been worshipping for a long time. Now, how did he get here? Um, basically, he was in the future, alright? When, uh, after Raziel got thrown in to, uh, after Raziel got thrown into the pit, he was there and he heard about how Raziel was killing all of his bros. And then, before Raziel could, you know, find out where it was and whatnot, he actually was summoned back into back into the future, or no, back into the past, I'm sorry, so yeah, um, basically the guy who was in the red, who was talking, he was the leader, he, he is Mortanius, the uh, pillar guardian of death, the one who orchestrated, uh, the one who orchestrated uh, Ariel's death and the uh, corruption of the circle. Okay, so now when 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 Terrell does that, you can you have to hit the the, the I don't know what the other thing is the mirror metal piece with with your TK ability, and that will make him vulnerable for a short while because he's got huge ears. So you know it's gonna hurt when he hears loud noises. So let's go through. What's going on here, basically? So basically, uh, what's going on is the as you, you've noticed. I mean, the Hilden have kind of taken over Terrell and made them made the humans worship worship him for some reason. I'm not sure why. Basically, to uh, make the humans, I guess, worship the Hilden again. I'm not sure, but Terrell has been kind of taken over by the Hilden. If you haven't noticed, his eyes turned green and someone else was talking. All right, now they did that. Let's hit the uh, this thing here. All right, cool. So yeah, uh, and Mortanius and them were worshiping him as a god, and that's really it that I can think of. Uh, all right, um. If anyone else has, if anyone has any questions about like what's going on at this point, I know there's a lot of scenes and there's a lot of stuff to cover, but it shouldn't be too hard. All right, now we have him almost dead, and when he gets about three quarters of the way down, he's gonna, he's gonna do a yelling eventually, or you gotta hit all these. these little symbols or sirens or whatever. And look at that, we beat him. Yes! Now! Endeavor. Face him and kill him! Destroy the mind.
finding at last. We shall all be... Free! Raziel, just like in the Soul Reaver 1, has absorbed the powers of Terrell. Granted, there's really nothing he gets for except uh, stronger TK abilities. And as you can see, his eyes were glowing green. So maybe he saw, uh, Raziel took more, absorbed more in than he, he, uh, he hoped, you know what I mean? So now that his TK powers are enhanced, we can actually break stuff like that pillar. So let's try to climb up it. So yeah, that's the Hilden. That they were talking to Raziel about destroying Cain so that the last pillar could break and they could uh, have the binding broken. You know, and then they could come back into this world. Come to me, my undead son. Make haste to the pillars. The stage is set for the grand finale. You will have your vengeance. Mortanius! So, you have come out into the open at last. The binding must be fragile indeed. But you will find you are too late. What am I too late for this time? No. No. Not now. Uh. You are too late for the victory you sought. I have beaten you after all. You have mistaken my identity. Have I? You forget who schooled me in the ancient prophecies. Uh, 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 this vessel speaks truly. You are indeed overdue, but it no longer matters in the least. With or without you, we will prevail. So? I finally meet the Unspoken, and here it is, nestled in the heart of the Circle itself. Ironic. <laughs> Poetic justice. To topple the foundations of the Pillars from within. We shall have our revenge in full measure and for all time. Ah, ah, this one has little strength left. One must not break him. <sighs> Your kind does not like to lose. I seek the heart of darkness. Ah, now you think of that. But as I told you, you are too late. The heart has served its function. I have used it to set prophecy in motion. I created the champion foretold by my masters who is destined to be your destroyer. The Scion of Balance will save Nosgoth. The Pillars will return to Vampire Guardianship as intended, and your race will be cast down forever. Cain! You use the Heart of Darkness to create Cain! How else? I refused at first to believe the ancient myths. I thought the vampires were simply a plague upon mankind, a pestilence we had to control. But they were right. And we were wrong to overthrow them, Mobius and I. We didn't understand what it was the Pillars were holding back. I have made my atonement. I will continue to make it to the end, which will be soon now. But I know. Cain will set it right. He will restore balance. And none too soon. My enemy is growing stronger. Where is the Heart of Darkness now? Did you destroy it? <laughs> you still don't understand, do you? You cannot make use of it as long as Cain guards it with his life. Cain has it? It is in Cain! Check and mate. This deed will redeem first me and then all, Nosgoth. It must. It... <laughs> this one grows weak. But we will soon have a stronger vessel. The long-awaited hour approaches. Our release is at hand. <gasps> I must...
finish it. Now. Okay, as you can see, Mortanius was also possessed by the Hilden as well, and he's actually possessed by uh, the Hilden Lord. Uh, anyways, uh, basically, he told him that he that Mortanius was trying to uh, kind of uh, get back at the human or get back at the vampires by helping out um, by helping out uh, the vampires, you know, seal the Hilden because the Hilden are bad news for the humans. So he was trying to uh, atone for him. And if you saw in the very beginning, he had like this mask thing. And that's the mask that he used in the first game. So he kind of looked like death. Anyways, in the next episode, we're going to see an awesome, awesome scene.